In the latest Star Citizen Alpha 3.24 patch, CIG made a balanced pass on multi-tools and how they should behave pertaining to the sizes of cargo boxes that they are able to pick up. So that's what we're going to find out in this video, how these changes impact uh, our gameplay. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. Okay, so I've gone ahead and grabbed multiple, what do you call it? Multiple boxes, right? Different sizes. Um, one through, one SCU through to uh, 32, okay? So one of the changes that they said is that the multi-tool are a little slower in terms of uh, moving objects. So let's see. So I believe this is a one SU box here. Oh, this, this, this is the one. Oh, it's clipping through. I think it feels a little heavier. So let's move it forward, then get closer. The one is okay. I think, I feel like it's a little heavier though. I'm gonna leave this right here. All right. And let's see how this thing lifts the size. Uh, I think this is a two SU box. It's all right. I'm not noticing much of a difference from before, but you can definitely feel the weight. Let's try this one. Let's see here. So let's see. You can feel the weight a little bit, but still not much of a difference. When we scroll up and scroll back, and I guess it's okay. All right, so I think this is the eight SU box, right? Still the same. I don't really notice much of a difference in terms of it being slow, so I guess it's just a slight change, okay? Uh, 60, I think, yeah, I think this would be the 60. Okay, I feel like I'm, I'm feeling the weight now, now that we're on the 16. Yeah, you can feel the weight now, okay? Okay, that's fine. Let's put this bad boy, yeah, I can feel the weight. I can feel the weight a bit. So now this one will be the 24 SCU. Mass exceeded. This is a 24. Oh, there, yeah, this is a 24. I guess it touched the uh, 32. Yeah, you can definitely feel the weight. You can definitely feel the weight as uh, the boxes get bigger. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very slow. Even like, like when you scroll back, I guess it's, oh, notice that if you are too far, it loses it. It drops when you pull it too far. Look at that. So you have to be within a certain distance. You have to be within at least 10 meters if you want to lift the 24 now. Before we go to do it more than, let's see. 10.7 11 11 is now we're pushing it if you put it in 12 it gives you a warning and then it drops around 13 SU that's interesting so now when you try the 32 SU with this one you definitely can't even when I get close definitely can't lift it okay so now we've done the test for the multi tool so now let's try it with the track this one so let's quickly test, uh, see if there's a difference here. There's definitely a weight to it. Look at this, look at this. Is this because it's 12 meters away? So let me see if I, it's definitely a weight to it. How far can I take it without it dropping? Okay, that's fine. So one SU, no problem for this one. 2 SU, definitely feel the weight compared to before. See how far we could take it without it dropping. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's manageable. 
Let's put this bad boy down. All right, the four SCU now. Yeah, it's very slow to catch up uh, as you move it horizontally. No warnings yet for the four SCU, so that's fine when you're um, pushing it forward. So let's put this here. Good. Eight SCU now. Let's see. Definitely can feel the weight. Let's see if there's a limit to how far you can push the ASCU with this one. Man, this one can handle quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, so the further you you are away, the slower it is. Oh gosh, is somebody interacting with their hanger? All right, so I think this is good. So now let's do the 16. I see you. That is so loud, gosh. 16, I see you. It still isn't bad. You don't notice anything different. What what I, I, I definitely agree on is the fact that it's, it's a little... They feel a little heavier. Lifting them up. Okay, so now this one is a 24. So let's see. So now there's see that the limit isn't even here. So for the 24, so take it all the way to the other wall. 50 meters, 60, no problem. Oh, range warning. So there's a warning. So I think when you go beyond 60. It starts giving starts to give you a warning for the 24. That's interesting. So let's see where it drops it at. Warning, warning. Oh, it's at the wall. Exceed. Yeah. I think if you go to like 80 meters away, then it starts to give you a warning for the 24 SCU boxes. Okay, so now the, the big test here. The 32 SCU picks it up, no problem. Okay. It's giving me a warning. It's it's not even green at all because it's, it's so heavy. Let's see if there's a limit here. Fifty. Range warnings. Let's move back. Let's see where. At this point, it's no longer even telling me the distance anymore. So I guess 70, I think around 80, 80 ish is the limit. And then it drops. Okay. Which is fair, which is, I think, fine. So um, based on this test, ideally, always carry the big one, the big uh, tr the dedicated tractor beam to, to move your cargo going forward. It, the multi-tool is essentially will be like your last resort. You should always have a multi-tool on you anyways and have the, the attractive beam attachment. But ultimately, if you want to move cargo quite a bit or move items around quite a bit, you're, you're going to need the main tracked beam and your multi-tool should always just be your backup. Um, but yeah, so uh, you guys let me know your thoughts on uh, what we covered in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace